Hello everyone and welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and day three of sneak peeks of our Heartfelt Harvest release. Make sure you check out the description box for all the information on this wonderful release. Now this die set I am really excited about. It is called On the Farm and it builds the cutest little farmhouse that layers together, a little barn and silo, a layering windmill, fences, gates, bales of hay, a little layering tractor, and all the little things to make the cutest little farm scene. Now here's the layering guide for the On the Farm die set. You can see the little farmhouse there at the top, the barn and silo, the tractor, windmill, and the big pile of hay. And then we had to have the perfect place to put our little farm. And this is the farmhouse fields cover plate. You can see it cuts that large tree in the foreground, rolling hills, and this is the perfect place to nestle your little farmhouse, maybe your barn and silo, have the little tractor plowing the fields. There's just so many cute ways that you can set up your farmhouse fields. Now there is a layering stencil set to color in your farmhouse fields. And here's a look at that stencil set. Now, if I hold them all together, you can see the nice clear stencils. So it's easy to line those up over your cut paper. So part of the stencils are gonna cover, color in different parts of the fields so you can do a cornfield or a brown to act as like where your tractor is plowing the fields. There is the trunk of the tree and the green of the tree and all the trees in the background. Now I have stenciled that whole farmhouse fields background here. You can see the beautiful tree. You can see all the little details pressed into the paper with those little embossing bits that uh, is going to emboss when you run that through your dye machine. And then you'll have the perfect scene to place your on the farm die cuts. Now let's take a look at what this will look like. So at the top there is a vertical card. You can see the barn there and the little trees and then a horizontal card that includes the farmhouse and the barn and silo and the little layering uh, windmill and the tractor. So lots of different ways that you can set up a cute uh, barn and farm scene with the on the farm dies and then the farmhouse fields cover plate and the layering stencils. Next is the perfect sentiment set to go with our farmhouse scene. It's called It Is Well. We have country roads, take me home, may God bless your home, it is well with my soul. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. May God bless your home, love you to the barn and back. Uh, praying for you and God is my refuge. So a lot of those will go with the harvest feel, with a homey feel, and of course there are the coordinating dies that are going to cut out every one of those great greetings. Next is the lovely layers oak branch. Now this is a two layered branch. You can see the top there, branch there with the leaves that you can cut out in a different color, layer a brown branch over the top. There's even the little caps to the acorns. Now this is the perfect nesting place for your lovely layers owl or maybe your winter birds or spring birds. Uh, you can set up just a beautiful scene with oak branches and a sentiment. So lots of different things that you can do with this beautiful lovely layers oak branch. This is the Lovely Layers Wagon Wheel, and it is the cutest little layering wagon wheel. All the little bits and pieces have great texture that will emboss into your paper. So we have the base layer, which is the spokes to the wheel. We have the outer rim, which has wood grain to it, and even the little centers. There's also the Lovely Layers Farm Cart. 
that has a layering hay bale. Now this is the perfect size to layer there and do a scene with your wagon wheel. You can also place the bale of hay into your little farm cart. It's a layering cart with lots of texture again with the embossed details. The hay bale also includes the baling wire or the twine that is wrapped around that bale of hay. You can cut these out of colored cardstock or out of white paper and ink blend on. Here's a card that I created during one of our live streams that includes the farm cart plus the hay bale inside and our new lovely layers fall bounty die set which includes all of those little pumpkins and leaves and gourds. Now here's a close-up look at that fall bounty die set. It's so cute, it's so much fun to create with, especially for fall or gardening type cards. So there are different sizes of gourds, there are different sizes of pumpkins and leaves. All the gourds and pumpkins have layering stems. And again, this is super easy to cut these out of whatever color cardstock you would like to use, or you could cut these out of white and ink blend onto those. Again, these have beautiful embossed detail that will press into your paper. So lots of fun with all of these lovely layers die sets for the fall. And this large die set is called the Lovely La Layers Farm Fence. So if I hold this up, you're gonna see that this is the size of an A2 size card but it was designed to easily be able to stretch if you like a five by seven card, or if you want a long card, you can just cut two. You can see how well the size fits with that Lovely Layers wagon wheel. I'm gonna be using several of these die sets at the end of the video for today's card, so I hope you'll stick around and join me for that card making time. And this is the Lovely Layers Farm Fence. Next is our newest set of Lovely Layers birds, and these are the Lovely Layers quail. Now what is so special about these cute little quail is they are designed to either be made standing or kind of laying down and nesting, or you could have one standing and one nesting. They layer together so beautifully, and again, you could cut all the different layers out of colored cardstock or white cardstock and color uh, those with your blending brushes. Here is the layering guide that shows you a look at exactly what those would look like. You can see there at the bottom where you would have some that are standing, you can create those nesting. So it's however you want to have your little pair of quail. This is our burlap 3D embossing folder. And if I slip a little piece of paper in here, we can better see all those great details that are going to emboss into your paper, both on the front side and on the back side. And if I open this up and show you, you can see all the texture that is pressed into the plastic of that embossing folder. So when you just follow the sandwich for your die machine, you can slip that through your die machine with your paper and then you get this amazing burlap texture on your paper. So perfect for different backgrounds and different textures. You could even use this texture for die cuts and it would be really cool. I'm gonna be using this embossed piece of paper on the card at the end of the video because it adds just the perfect amount of subtle texture to my background. And I'm gonna pair that with a lot of our new dies that I've introduced today. But this is the burlap 3D embossing folder. Okay, it's time to create a card. I'm gonna be using the Lovely Layers Fall Bounty, the Farm Cart, the wagon wheel and the farm fence. I've got all my die cuts ready to go and ink blend. I'm gonna pull out my little grip mat here and I'm gonna get busy ink blending with my Honeybee Stamps blending brushes. So this is the farm fence and you can see the wood grain that is pressed into the paper with that die. And I am blending on Walnut Stain Oxide ink. So I am loading up my blending brush and I want to make this look really rustic, really worn and well loved on the farm. And so I'm just not doing a perfect blend here. I want it a little bit messy, a little bit dirty, 
you can see it's a little dirtier and uh, darker down at the bottom. That's perfect. And then all I have to do to build up this cute little farm fence is take the little slats that are going to go across the center. I'm going to add some little dots of my Be Creative liquid adhesive. And then I can just layer those on with my tweezers and my little farm fence is all ready to go. Now, if you wanted to do a five by seven card or a slim line or a larger card, all you need to do is cut multiples of your farm fence. You could even make a shorter version of this fence by trimming off the bottom. So lots of different options there in how you prepare your farm fence. Now this is the Lovely Layers Wagon Wheel. I've cut the spoke section out of a creamy colored cardstock. And again, I'm using Walnut Stain ink. And I just wanted those spokes to be a little bit lighter and a little less worn than the outer layer. Both of these layers do have like a wood grain texture. And the outer layer even has little places where the rivets or where the pieces of wood would have been joined together in a real wagon wheel. And then we have the center area where that would join right on to our wagon. And if I add some liquid adhesive here, it's really easy to layer and put together. And I love that this is perfectly sized to go with the little bell of hay and the farm fence. If you, I hold it up here, so cute for a little farm scene. Okay, now I have cut the layering bale of hay, and that is from the farm cart die set. And so I've taken the hay pieces. There are four pieces that create this really cute bale of hay. So we've got the texture underside, and then we have the little wispy, loose pieces of straw that kind of stick out around the edges. And the underside I did in more of a creamy yellow mixing on maybe a little bit of um, like a honey colored um, ink. And then this is the part that is going to be the baling wire or the twine that would go around our bale of hay. And then you all you have to do is add on the little straw pieces to kind of stick out this way and that. Add on the baling wire or the twine and make sure you get it exactly where you want it with the liquid adhesive. And then I like to take my little wispy pieces of straw that are sticking up, kind of poke those out a little bit and lift them up. It just gives it that much more dimension. Next are all the cute little gourds and pumpkins from the Fall Bounty die set. Now these are fun to ink blend. I think ink blending die cuts during the fall is my favorite time of year because I can mix together all the colors and it's gonna turn out beautiful. Whether I wanna mix oranges and browns or green and browns or yellows and oranges, it's just fun to mix all different colors together and see what I get and make beautiful fall ink blends. So some of the gourds I've mixed on like a rustic wilderness and peeled paint. And then I mixed on a yellow, which is mustard seed. And then I can go in with crackling campfire and mix in some of that really deep orange to kind of make that look like those leaves have really changed color. And then on all the stems, I'm going in with the Walnut Stain Oxide Ink and just darkening up that craft cardstock just a little bit. And then I can add all the little stems and things onto my gourds and pumpkins and they're all ready to go. Now anytime I'm working with layering die cuts, I love to use liquid adhesive because it's going to give me a chance to kind of move everything around and shimmy them in place to make sure I get all those little die cuts and layers in just the right spot. So I'm just going to layer on my little stems, and I love these. I think they're so fun that you can kind of twist them around and make the stems look like they're uh, swirly and like they've just come out of the garden. Some of the stems are really thick. Some of them are small. I love that these little pumpkins and gourds have little bumps and um, lines and little warts almost, just like you would see at uh, the farmer's market or at a farm on a gourds and pumpkins. They're not perfectly round. They're not perfect and smooth gourds. They look more realistic. 
Now I'm just taking some colored pencils here at the end and simply following all the lines that were embossed into the paper. And I like to do that. I like to cheat a little bit and use the lines that are already pressed into the paper. Just add a little bit of those details in. Now you can see where I have used that 3D embossing folder that is the burlap texture back there for the background. And then I'm going to layer on that cute little farm fence and the wagon wheel and the hay and all of the gourds and pumpkins. And then I can press that into place and make sure the glue is attached and everything's doing its thing. Okay, now this is how you can use this farm fence to extend along your card. So you could just cut two and trim off the bottom. You could uh, center that on a five by seven card. So you would just need to cut um, multiples of that to extend your fence um, to go down a larger size card or to turn an A2 card on its side horizontally and extend your fence that way and then maybe trim off the bottom. So I'm gonna add my large farm fence background here. I love that. I think it's the perfect backdrop for a lot of our lovely layers flowers. You could have your little farm fence and then add the little flowers over the front like you in a little garden. If you could imagine, imagine that as a white picket fence, it would be adorable. And then we have our cute little lovely layers wagon wheel that is so cute. And then I'm gonna have my little bale of hay. I don't wanna forget to kind of poke up all those little pieces of straw so it looks like it's fun and dimensional. And I can add that onto my card with a little bit of foam tape. And then once I get those pieces down, I can start arranging all of the cute little pumpkins and gourds and leaves. Some of my little fall bounty pieces I have popped up onto little foam dots to add just a little bit of dimension. Some of them I'm going to add down with just some of the liquid adhesive and I'm nestling all those in and kind of tucking them in. It makes the cutest little farmer's market scene or little uh, welcome to your home scene. I can see this on someone's front porch or at the entrance to a farm or a property. So cute. And I love all of these little gourds and all their little texture and things that are pressed into the cardstock. I like to ruffle up and kind of fold up the leaves just a little bit to add some movement to those. Add a little bit of liquid adhesive to the back and then I can kind of tuck those in here or there around my little gourds and pumpkins. So I'm just going to kind of curl them up to give them some movement so they're not totally flat. And then I can tuck them in here or there where I want to add a little bit of color. Now this card was so cute on the front, I decided I was going to add the sentiment to the inside. I am stamping a sentiment from the It Is Well stamp set and it says, May God bless your home. I have a good friend from church that is moving into a new home and so this is going to be the perfect fall card to add to a little welcome to your new home basket or something like that. And so I'm going to add this craft piece of cardstock with the sentiment stamped on it to the inside of my chocolate brown card. And I just stamped that sentiment in the same uh, walnut stain oxide ink. I like to do that and coordinate the inside to the outside. And then this fall scene card is all finished. I love the way that this turned out. These die sets were so much fun to create with and I hope you've enjoyed watching how this card was made and all of day three's products. Now this release will be available on August 25th. Make sure you check out the description box below for information about the time of the release as well as our release party. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.